All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the unboxing of a sealed box of five GSAs. We saw this item on eBay, purchased it from Boston Coin, and in the ad it said a sealed box from the U.S. Mint of 1884 Carson City GSAs. The box has never seen the light of day, and today we're going to open it here for everyone to see. We purchased the box for $2,701. There was quite a bidding frenzy. Now the average grade of a GSA is about MS-63. So in today's dollars, we are looking at maybe $1,500 to $1,800 worth of coins. The big surprise would be if we found coins that are in better grades. So we're gonna do this kind of in two steps today. One, we're gonna open this box and then we're gonna clo closely inspect the inner box to make sure it has been opened or tampered with in any way to assure that we really got what we thought we got or what we ordered. And then once we do that, we're gonna pull out the coins and take a look at each of them and kind of give them some preliminary grades and eventually send them off to NGC to get graded. But this is something you see a lot of on eBay, unopened boxes. They get a lot of attention, they get a lot of bids, and it's really, really important to try to keep a level head. And so today we wanna to just go ahead and go with it and show everybody what you can more or less expect when you open one of these boxes. All right, here we go. Now, the brochure that you see here was the original brochure when these GSAs were sold. So if you wanted to buy GSAs from, from the GSA, the General Service County Department of the Government, you would simply take one of these forms and fill it out. You'll see here that you could actually order five 1884 CCs. So, the validity of this box actually passes its first test. It is possible to have just bought a box with five 1884 CC Carson Cities in it. They certainly get points for good packaging. We have boxes inside of bags, around the rubber bands, inside of more bags, until we finally got the original shipping box. This is what it would have looked like had you purchased the 1884 GSAs using this form in the uh, mid to early 80s. The items were shipped to you, registered mail. You'll see that it's got the stamp mark, shipped June 17th, 1980. And they have to be, by definition, in a fully sealed box because registered mail is highly insured. Upon close examination of this box, we don't see anywhere where the tape was pulled or steamed or otherwise removed. So nothing that I'm looking at here makes me think that this box has ever been opened or doctored. All right. Are you ready? We want to try to open the box without making too much of a fuss. And you can see, once you cut that tape away, it literally falls away. So it's pretty hard to fake a resealing with this kind of tape. And also, even if you could get this tape today, uh, it, it would not even match. Some of the famous mint packaging inside the box. We have five unopened, completely sealed, 
well yellowed and well aged GSA packages. Now let's see about which way is the easiest way to open. All right, so this is coin number one, 1884 GSA silver dollar that originally sold for $30 according to the catalog. Beautiful, pristine, never seen the light of day box. We open the, coin, the box, it has the appropriate, perfectly pristine COA, and here's our first coin. Beautiful original surface, a little bit of toning in the two o'clock position on the reverse. Not seeing any immediate VAMs. I'm not even sure what the 84 VAMs are. I'll grade this coin uh, 64 on a good day. This is not a bad coin. I'm actually impressed. The average grade of a coin in these GSA's holder is 63. So anytime you get something better than a 63, you're doing really well. And we'll take some straight shots of these coins and show them out. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the 64 pile. Let's do the next one. That one actually got me excited. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting uh, to have my first coin actually that nice. Remember, when it comes to grading, when it comes to expectations with coins, always think about what the average grade is that these coins come in. If we were looking at American Silver Eagles, we'd be expecting 69s. And I love how pristine these new boxes are. Very, very rare to see them in this great a condition. Another beautiful box, another untouched COA, and another very nice 1884. Again, I would grade this one 64. Just a little bit too much chatter at the high cheekbones and the nose. But so far, so good. I believe we got two 64s. <clears throat> Boy, am I going to be sad when I run out of boxes. You can actually tell how old these boxes are. The cardboard is actually turning, turning soft and mushy. It doesn't have any of its original snap, crackle, and pop. It's coming apart rather than tearing. Okay, GSA number three. Another beautiful example of a shiny box. And did you see this? It looks like this uh, set was originally sold at Stax Bowers. We'll have to look this up. Another beautiful, pristine COA. And this coin is in great shape. Let's take a look at the back. The reverse. Reverse actually has one little mark on it that might ding it. But this coin is a 65, even a 65 plus, all day long. Get a better, closer look at that coin. I'm really excited about this one. You seldom see these 65 out of the box. All right, well, so far we're doing great, folks. I, I can't imagine uh, our lucky streak continuing on. 
of course, the best scenario would be getting in at 66 or 67. This one came apart a little easier. All right. I think I'm going to go slower because I don't want this to end. Another beautiful, pristine COA. And a coin with some marks. Again, still a better uh, uh, coin that you'd expect in a GSA holder. I I I'm going to say that they're going to grade this one a 64. Let's take a look at the reverse. No marks of uh, any note on the reverse. So I think we're good with that. I believe this coin would 64, 64 plus on a good day. coin uh, we haven't had a single coin yet that's going to grade 66 so that's quite impressive right there final box you can literally see how the paper crumbles instead of rips from removing the, uh, the opening Just love the fact that there's so much pristine uh, uh, stuff here. This is probably the uh, rattiest of the coins. It may come in 64, but it's really closer to a 63. This is coin uh, uh, is more typical of what you would expect in a normal GSA holder, in an average GSA holder, I should say. Okay, all of these coins are gonna go to NGC for grading, so you can hold us to that. Once they come back, we'll shoot another video and let everybody see the, un quote, unveiling. Hopefully, um, I undergraded these a little bit. I tend to do two grade conservative. The good news is um, all of the coins in the GSA holders are original there's really not much of a chance of them being body bagged uncirculated details or anything like that so thanks a lot everybody we'll see you when we get these things back from ngc